Hello, this is Anupam. Now I am going to making a software that is called as a student database request. Means if you want to store so many data, then how can you install? So I have technique. Through that technique, you can store so many data. Means this is dynamic storing. Means whatever you data you want to store. Like one, two, three. At the runtime, you can increase the memory and you can decrease the memory. Means no fixed any memory. Means you can store one data or you can store lakhs of data. No any boundary for this one. So I have so many data collection. Uh, add dot c. You looking add dot c for the adding the data. Count dot c. Here count dot c. For the counting the data, a student that this is the storing result. Whatever you want to store the data for permanently, you can store in a student dot that password dot txt for the password storing. Read dot o o and c are the file. C is the c file. O is the file object file which are pre compiled through the c. Either you have the C file, then you can make a, the O file. Otherwise, you can't make the O file. So, so many I have files like uh, student.c, sort.c for sorting the result, uh, sorting according to the like uh, your choice uh, according to name, according to wrong number, according to marks, whatever. Header.5 This file cons consists so many header what you want to header file uh, which file is applicable for that particular performing task make file is a make is a utility this is a utility to make so many file a executable file means you can call this is the uh, utility file means the so means uh, some uh, one doing some task and another one doing on some task like uh, remove dot c done by someone sub dot c remove by uh, done by someone sll dot c is done by someone so we combine all the program in a one program using the make utility you can make a uh, executable file that consists so many files means lakhs of files thousands of files uh, collect and you can make the what executable by so now I am going for the running my program my program output file name is the uh, a student so this is the for the present directory and present directive which of the file a student so a student this is a student here this will be coming Anupam database system this is the compile time, this is the compile date, this is the file name, enter the password. For they asking enter the password. My password is Anu, but now I am typing wrong password because of trying my password is correctly working or not. So I am trying wrong password. Wrong password is something like, like password. W O R D. This is wrong password. Say, so my program is coming out terminated because this is the wrong password. Okay. Yes, look. Try again. And program is terminated. So I again compiling means executing. Sorry. So again this is asking the password. Now I am going to type the right password. Ah no. Okay, <laughs> Anupam, this is the Anupam database system. Welcome. They also show the welcome message. A student database record. This is the P and capital A for the add the new data, D for the delete the data, P for the show the link data and print the data, M for modify the record, B for save the data, E for exit from the file. T for the sort the list, L for the delete all the records. You want to delete all the data, then you can press the uh, L. R for reverse the list, 
whatever data you want to reverse na you can press the r c for the count the data is for the search the record you want to search any record in new data in lakhs of data thousands of data i want to search a particular data then that time you can press the is w for the uh, edit the previous data means uh, you store any place any data that you can read from this software and j for the change the password o for the log out from the software so i am going one by one so you can look here so e e for the adding the record enter the name so first i do typing anupam enter the marks okay they asking marks like 1 uh, 2 3 1 1 3 1 enter do you want to another data yeah i just name the kumar enter the marks it is so whatever you want do you want to add another data yes i want to another deepak i have taken enter the marks something you taken uh, do you want to add another data yes i want to mm, and it, mm, enter the marks do you want to other no uh, till now i have sufficient data in second one for the whatever the data i have Written here that you will correctly or not. So I am typing the P for the so the list. P I have. So here correctly we get one number Anupam, second number Kumar, third number Deepak, and fourth number Pandit. Okay, this is that. Now I have shown one and so the two have completed. So I want to modify the data. M. So now M. Here three options will be one R for the search the raw number, N for the name, and P for the percentage. I want to change the name. Whatever the name, I want to change N. I want to just Kumar as a Enter number which you want to delete. Name, name wise, I just remove the Pandit. P A N D I T. Pandit with new name, but my new name is Anu. And now my name is already be modified. So print the data P. here you see that is anu is changed previous data is the what previous data is the pandit now in the place of pandit which data anu so hmm so i am going to i have seen which which condition a condition P condition, M condition. Now I am going to saving the data. How to save the data? So please, please type B for the saving. Here two option. One option is showing the message default path for the D and N for the new path. I want to save the data default path. Default path for the D. Oh, oh, saving. Saved successfully. We saved success. Okay. Now I am going to delete all the data. Delete one data. Again, delete one data. I want to delete one data. D. Enter the wrong number wise deleting or name wise deleting. I want to delete the. What is wrong number wise? I want to delete. First uh, R. Number which number number you want to delete? Three number I want to delete. Three. Now I am printing the data. P. Okay, three number data 
will deleted one two four okay this is the completed which is the completed a completed u completed p completed modified save completed now sort the list how to sort sort the list for the t sort will be give three choice first choice to sort the result row number by to sort the name to sort the percent we see our result is already the sorted by the num so don't try to sort them because now will be affected on the that data so i am want to try the sort the data by marks percentage so i type p after percentage my data will be sorted here p 78 19 and this is the ascending order sorting okay sort the data i completed I reverse the data whatever the data is present reverse the data r for the r okay reverse the data 4 1 3 that will be reversed okay i have chosen another one one to add no so here reverse the data r my data is reversed this one this one this one this one because i count the data c c for counting how many data okay char four i have four data number one two three four four data i have that will counted counted the data now i am going to count the data search the data search i have given search the roll number one roll number i have this data is presented that one now i am going to um, read previous data now delete the all data in we have in thank you deleted so for printing data new no data so write the read the previous data i am going to reading the previous data uh, for reading previous data w default part default i have saved so i am going for the save. so i have i read all the data and loaded okay print the data in default part no any data is present so we are not taking any data so now you are going to what are you doing? Log out. Change the password. C for change the password. Change the password. J. Sorry, J for change the int old password. My old password is on a new password. Deepak. Mm, re enter password. D I P A K. This is different both. So here we manage password not matches okay w for the change the password z z enter old password my old password is anu enter the new password deepak re-enter deepak enter saving your password has saved successfully means my password is Change it. Now I am going to log out. Go for the log out. Log out. Enter the password. That time my password is Anu. Now I have changed my password. So my new password is Deepak. So I enter D double E P A K. Try again. So Oh no, a student done D double A P A K. The time working, why is the time not working? Go oh, for log out D double A P A K. Okay, so I am going to exit the program E enter 
Thank you.